Hi, I'm Lynette and welcome. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my recommendations for the Sephora VIB fall sale. Um, I'll probably also tell you a couple of items that I have my eyes on in the hopes of picking up during the sale as well. <laughs> so the official name of this sale is the Sephora Holiday Savings Event and it kicks off Friday, October 28th for VIB Rouge members. Um, Rouge will be getting 20% off and the sale runs for Rouge from October 28th to November 7th. So for the whole span of the sale, um, Rouge can shop and Rouge can shop early. And then um, for VIB, members you'll be getting 15 percent off and the sale starts for you the following week november 1st through the 7th and then for insiders the sale begins on 11 3rd to 11 7 and you will get 10 percent off now my first recommendation is i think everyone if you're ever been interested in picking up any items from sephora collection um, or if you have items from Sephora collection and you're looking to repurchase or try new things, I think this is definitely a great time to do that because during the sale, all throughout the sale, um, Sephora collection will be 30% off and everyone, Rouge, uh, Beauty Insiders, and VIBs will be getting that discount. And I think Sephora collection is a great brand. I really do. Everything that I've tried from the Sephora collection, I've enjoyed. Um, you cannot go wrong with the glosses <laughs> beautiful beautiful glosses um, the lipsticks they have these lip stories lipsticks very nice very inexpensive um, their brushes I'm looking to pick up um, their bronzer brush and this one is the number 50 this is which brush is this this is the flawless light powder brush which is great for bronzer and contour i have a couple of these i think and then i also have it in the mini size as well <laughs> um everything that i've tried i am looking to try they're there they have concealers they have their original concealers that they they came out with that actually are in very similar packaging to this. But then they also have their, I think it's the Best Skin Ever concealer and foundations. I'm actually looking to try the Best Skin Ever concealer and the foundation. I've heard a lot of good things about it um, from friends and people here on YouTube. So I'm looking to try that out and at 30%, the sale would be a great time. So aside from Sephora collection though, if you are a beauty insider or if you are VIB, I wouldn't suggest you shop this sale at all. I know, but 10% and 15% is nothing if, in my opinion. 20% is not a whole lot either, but I mean at the very minimum, a good sale for me, in my opinion, is 20% and above. So if you are VIB or if you're an insider, I would suggest you keep your eye out on the brands. Even if you're Rouge, I suggest you keep your, your eyes on the brands um, and for their sales because that's what I do, girl. <laughs> I have a list of items because we all do this, right? We all fill our cart, our Sephora carts, and then <laughs> whittle it down as the, as the sale comes along. Um, I had planned on picking up another Fenty Beauty lip shine and um, Fenty Beauty had a friends and family sale, which actually might still be going on at the time of this filming uh, for 25% off. So even though I'm v VIB Rouge, 25% is still better than the 20% I'll be getting during the Sephora sale. So I went on ahead, I took that out of my Sephora card and I went on ahead and picked that up. <laughs> also, I had planned on picking up the newest Lancome foundation, which I should have brought here with me to show you and I didn't. It's their Glow Foundation. Um, I had planned on picking that up during the Sephora sale and then Lancome sent me a, um, a coupon for 40% off so took that out of the Sephora cart <laughs> and went to Lancome and picked that up as well as their um, booster the their eyelash serum um, 
booster so i picked those two things up so even though i am rouge rouge and i'll be getting the 20 percent off during the sale i'm still keeping my eyes out for any brand sales because the brand sales are often 20 percent or more so if you are insider or beauty uh if you're vib or beauty insider i would skip this sale altogether and just wait for it those but that's just my opinion at the end of the day it's your money and it's your choice and you decide where and with whom you are going to shop now with that said my next recommendation is that you do not buy if you shop the sale do not buy pat mcgrath pat mcgrath right now as i'm filming this she's got me she's got 30 percent off if you spend more than 125 dollars and um 25 off if you spend less than that so you will always be able to find a better deal at Pat McGrath's website than you will at Sephora. So I would not purchase Pat McGrath. I would not purchase Fenty Beauty. As I said, they just had and may still be having a friends and family sale, 25% off, wouldn't bother. Urban Decay, again, they've been having a 30% off sale for a million years at this point. <laughs> Um, so if you wanted to pick up the all-nighter spray, for example, or any liners or, or foundations or anything from Urban Decay, I would just go to the Urban Decay website and get it for 30% off. So those are the brands right off the top of my head that I wouldn't even buy during the sale because the brands themselves at some point will, will be having better sales if they're not all ready. Okay, so I've given you all my recommendations about what not to buy. <laughs> what would I recommend you buy? Well, I think this sale is a good opportunity for you to pick up um, skincare, high priced <laughs> skincare like Drunk Elephant and Tatcha. Um, that might be a, a good time to purchase from Sephora. Fragrances might also be a good time. Um, I know around Christmas, maybe even Black Friday, but I know around Christmas time, all of the department stores and the brands, they all have sales on fragrances. So if you can wait a little longer, you might be able to get a good deal on fragrances and even get box sets or free gifts with purchase. Um, but you know, if you don't want to wait that long, fragrance might be a good product to pick up during the sale. In terms of foundations, NARS right now has my favorite formula when it comes to foundations. <laughs> so um, now would be a great time for you to try any of their foundations, like the Light Reflecting Foundation or the um, Radiant, the Longwear Radiant Foundation or the Soft Matte Foundation. <laughs> You can't go wrong with any of these in my estimation. Whatever finish, if you're looking for a glowy finish, if you're looking for a more natural finish, if you're looking for a soft matte finish, they have got you covered. Medium coverage, full coverage, NARS has got you covered. Danessa Myricks is a brand that I have fallen in love with this year. <laughs> everything, just about everything. I've tried from Danessa Myricks, I like. So the Sephora sale would be a good time to try the, um, the bomb powder and this uh, you can wear as a setting powder you can wear as a primer you can wear as light coverage foundation if you like um, I prefer to use it as a primer and I have it in two shades um, seven and eight or eight I have it in eight and not eight and nine and this one is eight and I've used both of them this year um, so yeah I really like this um, her bomb contour I know no one's contouring these days I'm the only one doing that but <laughs> yes girl I have this in two shades as well can't go wrong with that and in terms of her palettes she released the light work 4 palette this year it's $125 so if you're able to get it it at a discount during the Sephora sale it's still in stock I would totally recommend this and she's the the light work 3 palette the mini palette this is the full size palette which is no longer available but she did release a mini palette this year as well of this and it is also still available the mini size is still available at sephora so i would totally 
recommend that as well. Um, another palette that I would recommend from Anastasia Beverly Hills is the Nouveau palette. I know she just came out with a new palette. I think it's Rose Metal, something like that. But uh, I don't have that palette. I, I thought about that palette. I had my eye on that palette. And then I went to Sephora and I swatched it and it wasn't really speaking to me. But this one did. And I really, really like this one. So 50, I want to say this one was $52 when I picked it up. It might be 55 now. Um, but yeah, so the Sephora set would be a good time to pick this up if you're into this color story or if you're into any of her uh, palettes of late. Um, in terms of powders, oh, I forgot to mention this from Sephora Collection, the Micro Smooth Powder, an oldie but a goodie, uh, Laura Mercier, any of her translucent powders, any of her powders, I don't think you can miss with. This is a mini size. I do have two full size ones. Um, but yeah, she's got the last powder she came out with. <sighs> it's, um, it's a blurring powder. The blurring powder I am looking to pick that up but it won't be from Sephora it will more than likely be from Ulta with Ulta rewards points <laughs> but always a good recommendation for the Sephora sale hourglass released new ambient lighting palettes and I have my eye on the tiger palette which is the one for medium to deep skin tones I'm hoping it won't sell out by the time I get around to shopping the sale <laughs> And if it hasn't sold out by then, uh, I definitely plan to pick that up. It will be my first powder from Hourglass because, you know, they don't normally make products for people my skin tone and deeper. <laughs> so I'll be trying that. Um, House Labs, they, Lady Gaga's brand, did a whole rebranding and uh, they moved to Sephora. And they they came out with some highlighters and some bronzers. I do have a, a blush that I purchased prior to the rebrand that I really, really like. So I'm thinking that I do want to pick up one of the highlighters um, and to try it out and see if I like it. And if I do, I might try some other things from her collection, from her brand. And LYS Beauty, I don't think... I do, I, I do own one powder from LYS Beauty, but they, for holiday, released a mini blush kit with three blushes, and if that doesn't sell out, it's $18, which seems really affordable and reasonable to me. And it's they're cream blushes. I don't really use cream blushes, but for some reason, I keep buying them. <laughs> <laughs> and they look so pretty and I really do want to try them so if that's not sold out I hope to pick that up as well and yeah I got some other stuff that's in my car that we'll see if I actually check out with it or not of course I will come back and do a video of whatever it is that I decide to purchase and yeah I think that's going to be yeah that's gonna be all my suggestions this year um, this is my first time doing this video <laughs> and I think because I don't try a lot of new complexion products anyway um, so you know I, I don't have a lot to recommend and also the fact that brands are really rivaling Sephora when it comes to this sale like this sale used to be a big deal for me I once I became Rouge I totally looked forward to the spring sale the fall sale but now the holiday sale but now that the brands are also having the same type of deals, if not better, and I I have no problems waiting. I will wait. I will wait for a proper discount. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below, what do you have your eye on? Will you be shopping this sale, first off? And if so, what other products that you have your eye on? If you liked this video or found it at all helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing. I wanna thank you for joining me today. I hope to see you again next week. Until then, bye-bye.